Gerald. Hey, man. Man is everyone. But Gerald, I want to show you this. This is my. I got this when I worked. They gave me this when I worked down at Ground Zero. That's my face. It's uh, my name. This is the card that uh, they gave everyone when they started working there. And this got you in. And once you were inside, you could go anywhere. Even up on the pile, which I didn't do. But I brought it up just now because I thought about going up on the pile. I, I just I saw the respiratory problems, the people. I just figured it would be not a, really a great place to go. It would be into that. Uh, but I was right next to it. I worked in the American Express building right across the street from it. From the big, huge pot of everything. It was so muddy and wet. It was like they're constantly hosing it down. I got this card too. They gave me this when I uh, went and uh, took the breath test where I they had me breathe into a tube as hard as I could and, and keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing, and keep breathing out. I did it once, and they said, it didn't register. Can you do it again? I was like, man, that was like a real thing to do to your lungs. And I did it a second time. <laughs> and it registered that time. And I passed it. They said I had healthy lungs. And it was like their way of saying, okay, now he has healthy lungs. Whoa, my voice. Now he has healthy lungs, so if anything happens to him after this, we know that we didn't have anything to do with it. We can prove it, and that's what that was all about. Um, pretty cool stuff, I think, sometimes. I also have an air filter and a hard hat. Check this out. This is the filter. I took it to Burning Man. I wore it at Burning Man thing is the filters need to get changed in it. They're clogged up because it hasn't I've never changed them since I had the equipment. So breathing is a little difficult when I'm wearing it. But I uh, uh I uh, changed them. well you get the point. And then I wore like sunglasses and a hat, but I changed and started wearing a bandana because I could breathe a lot easier. But if I get these filters changed, it's, this would be pretty useful. Um, this thing I wore, then I wrote I'm bad on it, which uh, I think I wrote that because I wore this to Halloween a few weeks later after I started working there. There was a Halloween party and I went as a ground zero construction worker, so I wore these and I wrote on bad, I think, because it was kind of like I was making light of the situation, and I felt guilty about it. And I had, but this wasn't the hard hat that I wore. This is they gave me two. I had two. I don't know what happened. That first one. Oh man, it says I'm bad on it in huge letters, so I can't really wear it out in public. Not that I would wear it out in public, but I can't really wear it because I don't believe I'm bad anymore feel like I've moved past it, but it's just so. Maybe I'm representing the human race and speaking for everyone at that point. It was a hard time. All right, man, I'll see you.